Ron DeSantis loves sticking his fingers where they don't belong. And we're not just talking about pudding. DeSantis has his dirty fingers all over senior entitlements. Like cutting Medicare, slashing Social Security, even raising our retirement age. Tell Ron DeSantis to keep his pudding fingers off our money. Oh, and somebody get this man a spoon. Make America Great Again, Inc. is responsible for the content of this advertising. I think that ad is devastating. Um, uh, it So there, there's two reasons why it's devastating. He's going after uh, DeSantis' position on Social Security and Medicare. And uh, those positions are deeply, deeply, deeply unpopular. Uh, by the way, especially in Florida with a heavy senior citizen uh, uh, population, right? And so that is savvy of Trump's team to go populist uh, and progressive against DeSantis, okay? So Trump is pretending to have the, the progressive position there. He doesn't actually have it, but it's good politics. Now, secondarily, there's two things that trigger the conservative mind the most. This is uh, borne out by studies and we've covered it on the show before. Number two is fear. You would think that number one would be fear. No, number two is. Number one is disgust. If you trigger disgust for them, that's why Tucker Carlson and Trump are always talking about oh, the immigrants are dirty. This is it's, it's disgusting, disgusting. They always say, right? So here, this ad, they make DeSantis look disgusting. They know that that triggers the right wing mind and goes, "Whoa, I don't want DeSantis." Trump promised NRA members he'd have their back. But when Second Amendment rights came under attack. Trump abandoned us and stood with liberal Democrats. Our side, you guys, half of you are so afraid of the NRA. We have to fight them every once in a while. That's okay. Some of you people are petrified of the NRA. You can't be petrified. They have great power over you people. They have less power over me. That is why I have called for red flag laws. Or like take the firearms first and then go to court. I like taking the guns early. Take the guns first, go through due process. He and I introduced another assault weapons bill. Diane, you have some very good ideas. Diane, if you could add what you have also, and I think you can, into the bill. Yeah, so Joe, are you ready? Can you do that? Joe, can you do that, Pat? Can you add? Do yeah, that? you help. Well, no, I'll help, but can you add what Amy and what Diane have? Can we add them in? We're talking about uh, rules and regulations for purchasing. We're talking about changing an age from 18 to 21. I mean, I say that it should all be at 21. We do strong background checks. We're getting rid of the bump stocks. Trump cut and run like a coward. Trump the gun grabber doesn't deserve a second chance. I'm kind of split on it, Anna, because in the beginning they kind of screwed it up because they're having Trump say like, "Oh, you guys all work for the NRA, but I don't. I'll challenge them." Right. Even even if you're a right winger, that sounds strong. I mean, it's total nonsense. But the part where they call him a coward at the end that was good. And I don't know if anybody remembers this, but I would remember saying. Why don't the Democrats use the video of Donald Trump getting spooked when he thought there was a guy who was gonna rush the podium and he looked so scared. And they, and they, boom, DeSantis first ad out of the gate has that at the end where he goes, look, ah, when he thinks somebody's gonna, ah, look that Trump has. Yeah, that's called politics. You know Ron DeSantis, think again. In Congress, DeSantis voted three separate times to cut Social Security. That's right, three times over three years. Worse, DeSantis voted to cut Medicare two times. DeSantis even voted to raise the retirement age to 70. The more you learn about DeSantis, the more you see he doesn't share our values. He's just not ready to be president. I love it, obviously, for many reasons. I love this because Trump is putting it out there. I mean, he's saying plainly, frankly, what the Democrats are bad at saying. He keeps returning to this metaphor often of the wheelchair going off the cliff, pushing the wheelchair off the cliff, which is a which is a metaphor I believe that the Democrats used like 10 years ago or something. Yep. And that is um, something that the Democrats should be deploying again. And yet Trump is the one doing it in the context of a personal beef that he has with DeSantis. But DeSantis's position on this is much more emblematic of the Republican Party than anything else. 